Literally every day we wake up and we just enjoy each other and we love each other and it's just been a continuous highlight reel. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills fans might be aware that Kyle Richards and her husband Maurizio Umansky have traded in their former Aspen getaway for a new multi-million dollar home in the exact same area. There was some drama that went down on the reality show earlier this year at Kyle's former Aspen crib, so maybe that prompted the change of scenery. The new Aspen property cost the couple over $13 million and boasts 4,300 square feet along with a handful of luxury details. Aside from their Aspen getaways, Kyle and her husband also have a mansion in Encino, which is their main residence, and a place in the desert community of La Quinta. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Not only is Kyle Richards a star on the hit reality series Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, she's also returned to the big screen for the horror film Halloween Ends recently. She had appeared in the 1978 original film as a child actor and some of the recent spin-offs. But when Kyle isn't busy on screen, she has a pretty good real estate connection as her husband, Maurizio Umansky, is the founder of the luxury brokerage firm, The Agency. It makes sense then that the couple has a stacked property portfolio with vacation estates in Aspen, one-time mansions in Bel Air, and homes in the desert. Not to mention in 2017, Kyle and Maurizio bought their main mansion, an $8.25 million estate in Encino, California, which is known as the Smokey Robinson Estate, as the legendary singer once owned it. Hey everyone, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and today on Famous Entertainment, we are gonna be looking at the homes of Kyle Richards. Now let's get into this video. Now before we check out Kyle Richards' newest abode in Aspen, Colorado, let's check out the one she and her husband have put up for sale, which fans of Real Housewives probably remember. The drama that went down on the reality series earlier this year when the cast took a trip to Kyle's Aspen home must have been pretty bad, or at least bad enough for Kyle and her husband to want a new vacation home. The couple placed this Aspen home on the market in summer 2022 for $9.75 million after owning it for six years. Kyle. Well, she actually told Entertainment Tonight about the drama that happened at the house, saying, Aspen will never be the same. Honestly, that is my little happy place and people don't know that we live there part time. When I went back this last time, I took some sage with me. There was a Ouija board involved. Things really got out of control, let me tell you. And while she did say Aspen will never be the same, they did already manage to find a new Aspen spot. But more on that one in a moment. As for the Colorado abode that they're selling, it was built in 1970 and spans 2,426 square feet of space over three floors. Interiors were decorated in a mix of rustic and modern, along with four bedrooms and five bathrooms throughout, and it's located in the heart of downtown Aspen, but on a quiet street. Walking up to the home, it was brick fronted, and upon entering, there's a wooden floating staircase and a river rock accent wall, which appears in other rooms of the home too. Other charming details include the exposed log beam ceilings as well as the rich hardwood flooring. The great room has double height ceilings, a nearly full wall rock fireplace, and picture windows with amazing mountain views. You can also take in those views of the mountains in the Roaring Fork Valley on one of the two decks one off the main living room and the other on the roof where you can also find a hot tub and fire pit. The kitchen here is decked out in all wood cabinets and stainless steel appliances as well as bar style seats and a cozy banquette sitting area nearby. Upstairs, Kyle's former master suite offers another large stone fireplace as well as French doors out to a private balcony while the attached bath has a soaking tub and double steam showers. Despite this home serving the couple for a handful of years, their latest Aspen crib is even bigger. So let's check that out next. 
In September 2022, Kyle and her husband reportedly started fresh with the acquisition of a new Aspen, Colorado property. This one costing the couple $13.6 million. While it's no doubt pricier than its former place, it's also larger, and it's what most of us would call an upgrade. Also located in the posh ski resort town about a mile from the downtown center, Kyle's new property was built in 1997 and offers 4,300 square feet of space inside with four bedrooms and six baths throughout. Walking up to the two-story home, it's surrounded by towering pine trees to really set that mountain atmosphere. While the exterior is quite modern, incorporating plenty of stone and massive windows into the design. While it was built in the late 90s, it has recently been remodeled to offer all the updates one could imagine. The main living room features high wood beam ceilings as well as a deer antler chandelier overhead. Not to mention a large stone fireplace and sitting corner nestled into a large window with views of the mountain tops. In fact, throughout the home, you'll find at least one more deer antler chandelier as well as the high wood ceilings and hardwood flooring underneath. The dining room attached to both the main living room and the gourmet kitchen, offering patio access and a double height window that covers the room in natural light. Over in the kitchen, there's an Eden-style island and stainless steel appliances, along with more doors to the terrace and an al fresco dining space. Moving upstairs, Kyle won't have to miss her bedroom at her former Aspen home too much because this master suite has all the same bells and whistles. It is actually slightly nicer. Not only is there a roaring fireplace with mounted TV above, there are also glass doors that not only frame some amazing views, but further open to the private balcony where the couple can even enjoy their very own hot tub. Over in the luxury ensuite, there are his and hers vanities, a glass shower, and a separate tub. Other features of the new vacation home include three ensuite guest or family bedrooms and two large bonus rooms, one on either level, while outside there are multiple terraces, including one with a cozy fire pit and seating. While Kyle adores Colorado's ski resort town and the couple spends a good chunk of their time there, of course they have a main residence in Los Angeles. After all, she isn't a real housewife of Aspen. In 2017, Kyle and her husband dropped about $8.25 million on their current home located in Encino, California, an area in the San Fernando Valley that only started becoming a hot spot amongst the rich and famous around that time. But Kyle's home isn't just any home. It's the historic Smokey Robinson estate as it's known, since it got its name from the legendary musician who owned it from 1988 to 2002. The home, which appears to be a classic colonial style, was actually built in 1880 and moved from its original LA location to where it sits now in 1912. And back then, they moved it via horse and carriage. The Smokey Robinson estate, which is now Kyle's estate, was given a makeover before it changed hands in 2016. And then that buyer further carried out another facelift on the place. He decked the mansion out in a lot of grays and whites, as well as added a new pool and spa and a 1,600 square foot guest house on the property. While most of the main home was left the same, an expansion off the back was added and a new master suite balcony. Basically, by the time Kyle bought it, the home was as good as new. Kyle and Maurizio's mansion spans 10,600 square feet of space with seven beds and eight baths throughout, while the outside offers large metal gates for privacy as well as stunning gardens and a formal fountain out front. There's a grand entry with classic black and white checkerboard floors and a charming Neo-Georgian style staircase, while the formal living room boasts a white marble fireplace. To the other side of the entryway, there's another sitting area with yet another fireplace too. And over in the kitchen, we can see it's all brand new with its upscale appliances and center island with bar style seats. In a video shared by Bravo, Kyle showed off her kitchen with a tour of her refrigerator, where she revealed that she did little to the room after she bought the house except to add new light fixtures. Other rooms in this home include a family room with fireplace, a home movie theater, and a bathroom with yet another fireplace. In fact, Kyle has a total of at least six wood-burning fireplaces in her mansion. In another clip with Bravo, Kyle further showed off her husband's massive black and gold bar in the home, noting that he's quote-unquote very proud of it and insists on keeping it fully stocked for guests. 
She said about the bar, we wanted this to be a place where everybody came together to drink, laugh, talk, and have fun. The second floor of the Encino abode has most of the bedrooms as well as the couple's master, which has features like a fireplace, obviously, a sizable walk-in closet, and an ensuite with glass shower. There's also the private deck here, which spans 800 square feet and overlooks the grounds. Out back, you'll find a swimming pool and spa, as well as an open air guest house, which has the same black and white tiled floors we've seen elsewhere in the main home, as well as at least one bed and bath. The grounds also offer a putting green, a gazebo, and meditation gardens within its 1.54 acres. Kyle Richard seems very content with her Encino home, and she's also revealed it's an absolutely beautiful home. We are so happy to be there and to enjoy this gorgeous home. It doesn't feel like you're in Los Angeles, it feels like you you're in a completely different part of the country. Well, I don't think the couple will be moving anytime soon, but that's gonna bring this house tour to a close. Let me know what you liked or didn't like about Kyle's properties in Aspen in LA. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.